Today, we are going to talk elasticity of demand, specifically price elasticity of demand. And what I hope to show you today is a way for you to get rid of calculators and calculating the coefficient of the price elasticity of demand and using Excel. And so that's what we're going to get ready to start with. Okay, so what you might notice here is that I'm using OpenStax principles of microeconomics. Um, I'm in chapter five, elasticity, uh, in section 5.1, price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. And, and so you see this graph here calculating the price elasticity of supply or demand. And what I want you to look uh, here above, this is the formula that you want to apply percent change in quantity, that's the numerator, the percent change in price, that's a denominator, and calculating using the midpoint method and calculating the coefficient of the price elasticity of demand. And, and so here's the problem at the bottom, if you can read that. First, apply the formula to calculate the elasticity as price decreases from $70 at point B to $60 at point A. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is show the Excel uh, spreadsheet. And what I want you to know here is that it's blank. So, so um, what we're going to do, looking at this, you see we've got Q1, Q2, P1, P2. So what do these numbers mean? Well, Q1, that's the quantity before the price change. P1 is the price before price change. Q2 is the quantity after price change. And P2 is the price after price change. So so when we're looking at this problem, we should know what the pro the original price was. Well, it's decreasing, so the original price was seventy dollars. The new price is sixty dollars. So, um, so, so when we look at the table here, you see twenty eight hundred uh, comma seventy seventy uh, is on the the vertical axis. That's where price is, and it's in between sixty and ninety. And the 2800, that's on the horizontal axis, the X axis, which is Q. And so you notice here, B is uh, in between 2500 and 3000, which is 2800. So let's plug in those numbers. And so uh, my Q1, that's when the price was $70, that's 2800. My P1, that's the price before the price change is 70. My new price now, and here I'm going to point A, that's 60. So we'll put 60 here. And then uh, 3,000, that's this point right here. That's the quantity after the price change. And so now I'm going to have a numerator. Then I'm going to have a denominator. And I'm going to call this uh, um, ED for price elasticity of demand. And, and so um, I'm just going to basically have the equal sign, but I'm, I'm going to show you how to convert this this equation into an Excel formula. And so I'm going to do Q2 minus Q1. And so here Q2 is in air is in column B row two. So that's where the 3000 is. So, so I'm going to left click with the mouse 3000. Then I'm going to subtract, hit the minus sign, and then hit Q1, which is column B row one. And then I'm going to put a parentheses there because that's what we see here in this formula. Now I want to show the denominator under the percent change in quantity. So I'm going to do a backslash. And here's the key here. You want two parentheses. You notice there's just one here, but you need two here. So I'm going to do a double parentheses. And then uh, it's Q2 plus Q1, so it doesn't matter which R. So I'll do Q2 plus Q1. And then, um, let's see, that did not go through. Okay, that's column B, row two, plus column B, row one, that's B1, and parentheses, and then backslash, that's division, two, and then another parentheses. And that's the number I should get for the numerator. And then in the denominator, I'm going to do price. So it's going to be P2, which is column B, row four, minus 
column B row three parentheses backslash two parentheses and then I want to do column B row four plus column B row three and so that one did not hit left click there and then that B3 and then divid division of uh, parentheses and then division which is the backslash and then divide that by two and so that's what my denominator will look like and then when we do the price elasticity of demand then we just do the equal sign and here's the key price elasticity of demand will always be negative however when doing the coefficient we want the absolute value so i'm going to put a negative here and then parentheses so it'll, so it'll always be positive because you know a positive divided by a negative will always yield a negative so i'm going to do the numerator which is column b row six divided by uh the denominator which is column b row seven and then parentheses and that should be the elasticity of demand notice it's less than one and that lets us know that it's elastic and so um, if we were to go back here look at the, see if that's what they got uh they got that i think there might be some rounding error here but they got 6.9 and when you look at what i have here i've got 6.89 round off so that's about 6.9 and then they had 15.4 um they, and what they did was they multiplied that by 100 so and, and i had 0 0.1538 which rounds to 15.4 so so um so the number at the end ends up being the same and i have 0.448 so if i were to uh, uh round that i'm going to get the same number that they get so the only difference is i did not multiply it by 100 that's not necessary um and so uh we get the same number 0.45 and that's inelastic and so so that is how you do it in excel